Hawthorne is on Wurundjeri country and it's a really yummy leafy suburb where the housing stock is delicious old Edwardians, Federations and this particular street is delightful. The key ambition of the project was to stitch together the mock renovation, the beautiful Edwardian and the contemporary style that would ultimately be the family home. We wanted to stitch it together in terms of materials, feel, but also the colour palette. They came to Wawawa because they wanted something very yummy. At Wawawa we love renovations because you have context, you have bones. For us that's way more exciting because we get to look at the textures of the old bricks and the old stone and the old gradient that's on the roof tiles. We get to play with all of that texture and history and build upon it. The journey of the house really starts at the front gate. We walk up this beautiful soft pebble driveway. Then you're presented with a very, very traditional hallway. It's really wide and spacious and the ceilings are really tall and ornate. And then it really is only after you pass a threshold that you are so aware that you've come into this very contemporary space. The kitchen really is the heart of the home and it does speak to the colours of the landscape. Your eye is instantly drawn out to the windows and this incredible garden that's very voluptuous. It's rich and colourful and vibrant. Upstairs there's four bedrooms, a main parents retreat with a bedroom, walk-in robe and a glorious little ensuite. And there's two kids, so they have the bedroom each and a spare room. It's so surprising how whimsical and ornate these old houses actually are. When we translate that into new materials within the new house, I think often there's a tendency to go in a much more minimal direction, but we go the other way. We embrace the circles and the geometry and the patination and the textures. We've got terrazzo, we've got finger tiles, we've got terracotta, we've got steel, timber. It's a party and everyone's invited. The color palette really did come from the stained glass. They're really beautiful, lavender and pink and green. They felt very Australiana and that's what we wanted for the house. We love working with Laminex. In a way, when you're choosing any colour under the rainbow, it's nice to know that an uh, interior designer or stylist has previously chosen and selected this colour specifically because someone else has almost pre-approved it. The Laminex bay leaf colour has obviously been inspired by nature. We were keen to partner that with a lot of the browns and warm terracottas and oranges that are in the space. We always like the house to feel cohesive, so we use the bay leaf in the kitchen and also in the main bedroom robe, just to sort of tie it in and bring the whole house together. I used to be anxious about our color choices, but if it feels good, then it generally goes together. As an architect, it's so important to get the big gestures right. But for us, it's equally as important, the little gestures, the little moments. And one of the best things is looking around the room or the project and seeing all those little moments and they just bring joy. It's fresh. It feels really nostalgic. It's really just a collection of old stories that might evoke memories and different memories for different people. And fuss, storytelling, story listening, it's all part of what we do as architects.